Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. Megadeth's new secret weapon, Timu Mantasari, may not be human. This guy's immaculate precision and feel sound like an evolved artificial intelligence. So today, we're gonna watch a live performance of Megadeth's Tornado of Souls to see if he's, I mean, I don't even wanna say it, but he could be better than Marty Friedman. There's only one way to find out. The ultimate test is if Timu can play the greatest Megadeth solo, which is, of course, Tornado of Souls. Can he surpass even Marty Friedman's feel and technicality? Oh, man, that'd be crazy. I learned to figure the G-string on level 69 with my free newsletter below. You get free tabs, tips, inspiration to stay motivated to improve. Take things deeper with my full music theory course. That gives you 15 hours of content. You're going to be learning things like keys, you know, what notes are in a key signature, how to read music, scales, chords, intervals, how to write your own songs, advanced writing concepts, exotic scales. You can go all the way with my Patreon page. That's going to give you all of my courses, tabs, Discord access as well. That way we can talk to each other every day and stay in touch. Now, as many of you guys know, Kiko Lorero, the previous Megadeth guitarist, has stepped down for now. He's cited in a public statement that he would like to spend more time with his family and kids. Now, I don't know if that's what's really going on, if there's some, something else happening uh, behind the scenes. For now, we could be looking at Timu as uh, the next in line here. From what I've heard so far, this guy is pretty impressive. So let's see what he can do with Tornado of Souls. This, I believe, is the, their first show with him. Uh, so, I mean, wow. I don't know how long he's been practicing or getting ready for this, but let's see how he does. guys here we go Dave just mumbling weird stuff still love you Dave modulation down a whole step let's get back up there to B minor A minor Okay, just gonna have the crowd sing it. Timu seems to be on point here. Just groove into it. No reason to sing. I think the crowd's got it. First two. I love this part. Let's take it down. Modulation gives your music energy. Changing keys is like trying something new in your life. Sometimes we get stuck in a rut, you know, and we're, we, we become comfortable, right? We're not challenging ourselves. And when you change keys, it's kind of like, oh, okay, we're off in a different direction here. And that captures our attention. It's like an action plot point happening in a film. So use modulation in your music and learn about key signatures because each key has its own personality. B minor, you know, is the key of this song, even though they're tuned down whole steps, so it's more like A minor. But B minor is a really special key. Get to know that key. It it has its own voice, you know? But then uh, E Dorian, that's another key. You know, we're gonna hear that later. Dave doesn't like singing this chorus. Voice probably hurts too. I mean, it's hard to hear Timu out of the mix, but everything's sounding good so far. Oh, he's on back and vocals. Give it to us, Timu. Who's to say? Not me. What's for me to do? This lick is such classic Dave Mustaine because it's like the B minor scale uh, or really like the, the B blues scale, but then Dave adds the second degree uh, into the equation. And I think that's really clever and cool. So I applaud you, Dave Mustaine, for knowing music theory, even though everyone says you don't. 
I believe in you, Dave. <laughs> Remember that the only rule in music theory is if it sounds good, it is good. That's it. I love listening to the bass changes underneath the chords here. Okay, we're into the, the bridge. London Bridge is falling down. I think I've seen the light. <clears throat> Get out of me, WAP juice. WAP juice. WAP juice shirts. Okay, here we go. A little harmonizing with D Mustaine. He's getting ready for a solo. the ghost of Marty Friedman. Actually, Marty's not dead yet, so you don't have to channel the ghost. Okay. Holy shit. Now, as far as I can tell, Team Who is one of those guys that he's got the chops and the technique and the speed, but he also has feel, the F word, feel. I'm talking about the F word here. And that's pretty rare. I mean, I don't know. What do you guys think? Uh, oh, this would be pretty tough. I mean, and you got to keep in mind he's only been playing the solo for, you know, not very long. So it's only going to get better from here. And he's already at a, a very high level. So by the time he gets 666 reps in like Marty Friedman, you know, he could be playing on level 420 and fingering the G string on level 69 for that matter. Davis switched microphones. Everybody switching it up. That audio just went funny. Oh. And we're back. All right, boys. I would have been nervous as hell. You know, first show, getting all these crazy songs down. Look at him. Head banging like it's a death metal show. Give it to me, T Moon. Modulation. Whoops, one more round. Now I'm going to let you be the judge on that. Is Timu up to the level of Marty Friedman? Well, uh, I say uh, by the time he hits rep 666, yes. And you got to understand that Timu, we, we don't know this guy yet. You know, you've been listening to Marty Friedman you know, for 9,000 years and you're so emotionally attached and connected to him. You got to give this new guy a chance, but he definitely has big time potential. 